The Chicago Bears have made it official now, officially hiring Eric Washington for their defensive coordinator position. We're going to talk about it all and more right after this. You are now tuned in to Chicago Bears Central, your number one place for all Chicago Bears news and content. What's going on, Bears fans? Welcome to another episode of Chicago Bears Central, your number one spot for everything Chicago Bears related. I'm the host here, Hayes, but more importantly, you guys can follow the channel at Shy Bears Central on every social media platform we happen to be on. With that being said, let's go ahead and get into this news. So the Chicago Bears have now made it official. They hired Eric Washington for their defensive coordinator position. Keep in mind, this is a guy who coached before with the Bears in 2008. He was the defensive assistant for the Chicago Bears up until 2010. He then moved on to the Carolina Panthers and became their defensive line coach in 2011, and then uh, when when he was there until 2018, when he was promoted to defensive coordinator um, after Steve Wilkes left, he then moved on to the Buffalo Bills in 2020. He was hired as their defensive line coach um, on that new role. He then eventually moved on to be their defensive coordinator up until now, uh, moving into this role with the Chicago Bears. So this is a guy that does have some play calling experience. Right. There's been some debate back and forth on if uh, Matt Eberflus would would maintain defensive uh, play calling this. The Bears can really go either way. And they may just make that decision on this uh, going into this training camp to see what they bring. But Eric Washington was one of the best candidates for the position for the Chicago Bears. And so, listen, this is uh, you know, I know a lot of uh, Bears fans were looking at uh, hoping that they were going to get Chris Harris, who was a former Bear and things like that. He may end up still on the staff as well, but the Bears, at least right now, they are making their decision for their defensive coordinator position. And this is, hey, now they've they've backed up uh, making their offensive coordinator position uh, earlier this week with now officially hiring Eric Washington for that position. And so this is a guy that has associate head coach um, experience. And so, you know, when you look at now how they strengthen the offensive and defensive coordinator rooms, these are both guys in Shane Waldron and Eric Washington that have held that position of associate head coach or assistant head coach. And so this is going to be big. And, uh, you know, it, at the end of the day, this is a guy who now brings some of that situational awareness that Matt Eberflus lacks at times. He has that experience in play calling. And from the three candidates that the Bears uh, hired right now, this is the Eric Washington was the only one with true defensive coordinator position that's done it at a high level. And so you look at as well at his his experience of working on the defensive line. So that's a place that we know that the Bears are really trying to improve. Also, this offseason, he brings the tenacity, things like that. And so I really like now there have been some signs when you look at the uh, when he was with the Carolina Panthers, when he moved into that defensive coordinator position, he didn't necessarily play the best. Right. The defense didn't play the best after that it kind of fell apart. But then when you look at the Buffalo Bills, the, the high draft picks they invested into that defensive line, they still had a little bit of a di disappointing performance. But Again, because Matt Eberflus is still staying on as head coach, we saw how good he did in play calling for the Chicago Bears. There's enough reason to believe that this is going to work out solidly enough for the Chicago Bears. But let me know what you guys think. Do you agree with the hiring of Eric Washington? Do you Did you like some of the other candidates uh, better? I'm glad that we didn't go with Joe Barry. No more cheese heads in the building. But other than that, the Bears go out here. They get a guy that they interviewed early. And now it's just about filling out the staffs. Now, the defensive side doesn't have as many open staff positions as what the offense did. We already know we hired our offense, our, our QB coach and our offensive coordinator on that side. But we get both the our coordinators locked in, both guys with, with tremendous experience that were on the market, uh, associate head co assistant head coaches roles in their past before. This is a really big get for the Chicago Bears, and I love what they went out here and did. Like I said, it's not perfect. Eric Washington isn't a perfect candidate where he just brings all this uh, this 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 uh, cachet with his name and things like that. But this is a guy that's well respected around the NFL. And I think that plays a big part as well. When you look at the respect that this defense has already had for Matt Eberflus, bringing in a new voice, you want them to be, be somebody that the players also respect. And Eric Washington does that. And so, you know, with that experience that he has, with being uh you know familiar with the franchise being working here for three seasons before yes in the early 2000s but still having that that history here to a degree for the those that like that it does bode well for that as well i think this is a really big and nice get for the chicago bears but let me know as always what you guys think down below make sure you're following the show at shy bears central you can send us any feedback questions comments concerns Chicago Bears Central gmail.com. And then lastly, if you want to leave a text message and our voicemail, the number to do so, 773-242-9336. And like we like to end every episode on, Chi Town Up, but bear down. Love you guys. Peace, y'all. This has been a
been a presentation of the Break Break Media. Break, break, media.